to a third of college-age young adults may be abusing stimulants like Adderall. That's according to medical experts. And even though the drug used to treat ADHD may seem harmless, experts say if abused, there could be some terrible consequences. ABC4's Andrew Reeser explains. It's commonly prescribed and sometimes illegally passed around, especially among young people. Adderall, the drug accused Utah kingpin Aaron Shamo allegedly got his start selling, is as common in college as frat parties and alcohol. Everyone I knew. This woman, who wanted to remain anonymous, says the majority of people she knew in college used Adderall, a stimulant prescribed for ADHD. Even kids sell it, and it's it's common knowledge. In fact, Dr. Travis Mickelson, psychiatrist at Intermountain Healthcare, estimates up to a third of college students misuse the drug. Uh, likely performance enhancing purposes. This woman says that's what she used it for. Well, I had been told that Adderall helps you study and focus. You kind of want or need something that will help you do that. But she stopped, even though she had a prescription, when the side effects hit, like a severe crash after an intense feeling of euphoria. I stopped taking it when I realized it just wasn't a healthy habit. In fact, doctors recently warned young people who abuse the drug and other amphetamine-based stimulants are more likely to experience psychotic symptoms. Seeing or hearing or believing things that aren't true, that can have a paranoid nature where you think people are out to hurt you or out to get you. It could have a grandiose nature where you think you might have some kind of special powers or special abilities. Doctors remind everyone it's illegal to use stimulants without a prescription. In Salt Lake City, Andrew Reeser, ABC4 News.